Swadi Cup and welcome to Phuket Extra for the final day this week. We'll check out the latest on the raid of Pattaya's latest criminal gang later in the program. But first to today's other news. The captain of the speedboat that struck and severely injured two Russian divers in Maya Bay has been charged with careless driving. Meanwhile, 30-year-old Mr Dmitriev, whose leg was nearly sliced completely through by the boat's propeller, has since had it amputated and been flown to Bangkok for further treatment. He remains in a critical condition. His diving friend also suffered lacerations to his right leg and he's still in Krabi Hospital. Local police, soldiers and Pattaya district officials raided a bridge club, arresting 32 elderly foreigners, most of them British, for playing cards. There was no gambling involved or any money changing hands. Their crime was playing with more than 120 cards. The ringleader of the card gang was taken to Pattaya police station for questioning and the other offenders taken into custody for 12 hours before being freed. Each of the criminals were fined 5,000 baht. The criminal card syndicate's been meeting for bridge games since 1994. Clearly there were no hookers, drug dealers or other criminals around Pattaya's streets yesterday. Governor Jamalan is ordering an investigation into a Facebook post that accused him of taking sides in a land rights dispute between Rawai's Sea Gypsies and developers Barren World Trade, who plan to construct luxury villas on the land. The Facebook user claims that the governor had sided with Barren World Trade and used his influence to persuade the Sea Gypsy community leaders to accept terms offered by the developer. The governor stepped in to sort out the issue after violence on the site last week, which ended up with some of the Sea Gypsy community in hospital. Next, a special report from JP about the latest tussles in the dispute between the Navy and the operators at Nui Beach. This is Phuket Extra. This is the Phuket News. This is Novosti Phuketa. This is Puji Dao Xinwen, the new Chinese language newspaper for Phuket. Available at 600 locations around Phuket. Your island, your newspapers. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Nui Beach remains open nearly eight months after being asked to clear out. JP with the latest. The case of Nui Bay Members Club is a sordid tale of guns, sand and money, as authorities are still scratching their heads on how exactly to close down the operation. The owners of the club, which sits on Nui Beach between Rawai and Naiharn, were ordered to close it down and demolish all the structures last July because they weren't allowed to build on state land and were illegally blocking public access to the beach, which is also illegal. The Royal Thai Navy raided the establishment three times in 2015 following complaints that staff at Nui Bay Members Club had threatened people who come onto the land without paying a fee. In fact, one year ago today, a club staff member was arrested in a surprise raid for attempting to flee by car. When he was caught, authorities searched the car and found a Glock 9mm semi-automatic pistol and gear for smoking crystal meth. After being ordered to close down last year, the owners appealed and it has taken months for provincial officials to make a ruling. Meanwhile, the club remains open and still advertise specials on their Facebook page. Authorities hope a decision will be made in March. J.P. Mistanza reporting for Phuket Extra. Prime Minister Pray Chanacha has apologised for flying off the handle at the media at a press conference yesterday. The PM lost his temper after being repeatedly questioned by local Thai media about the draft constitution. The Thai PM has had a fractured history with the local media. Finally, Bangkok police are investigating a man who apparently jumped to his death from the fifth floor of the Silom Complex shopping mall yesterday. He landed in the middle of a clearance sale for a Japanese retail brand. The company said they'd end their sale and they expressed condolences for the death. Well, on that sad note, we end this week's Phuket Extra. Back tomorrow with the top five stories from the week on Phuket Extra Extra. We wish you all a fantastic Phuket weekend. Thanks for watching. When in Patong, make sure you get on top. Phuket's new world class day to night entertainment experience. Check us out at Facebook, On Top Phuket. When will we see you on top?